In this video, we'll discuss assignment operators. Since the beginning of the quick start series, we've been using the assignment operator equals. So the equal symbol simply assigns the value 10 to the variable x. A full list of assignment operators can be found at the W3 Schools website. I'm going to put the link in the description. In this video, we'll only discuss the most common ones. Feel free to explore the rest of them on your own time. So here in NetBeans, we're going to try the different assignment operators. I'm going to declare a variable. I'm going to call it x and give it a value of 5. Let's output the value. If we build and run, it's going to give us the value of x, which is 5. Well, let me write another statement just after this one. I'm going to say x equals 2. So initially, we gave it a value of 5. But on the next line, we gave it a new value using the assignment operator equals. So if we build and run, the value 5 will now be lost. It will be replaced by the number 2. Let's build and run. It's going to say 2. What if we don't want to lose the current value, we just want to add the new value. We do that by writing it like this. So x equals x. So this is the current value of x, which is 5. And then we say plus 2. Okay. So we're assigning the current value of x plus 2. We should get 7. So build and run. It's going to say 7. Okay. To shorten this code, we can simply write x plus equals you know, whatever value we want to add to the existing value. So let's say 3. So this means we want to add 3 to the current value of x. This should give us 8. So let's try the next one, minus equals. So the same scenario, we don't want to lose the existing value. We just want to perform subtraction with it. So the long method is x equals x minus, let's say, 3. So this means we are subtracting 3 from the existing value of x, which is 5. Build and run, we're going to get 2. To shorten this, we say x minus equals 2. So let's try the next one, times equals. So the same scenario, we don't want to lose the existing value. We just want to multiply it by a certain number. So I'm going to say x equals x times 3. We want to multiply the current value of x, which is 5, multiply it by 3, and store it back to itself. Build and run, we're going to get 15. To shorten the statement, we simply say asterisk equals. It's going to give us the same effect. So if I change this to 4, build and run, it's going to say 20. The last one is slash equals. The long method is saying x equals x divided by, let's say, 2. Okay. So it's going to divide the existing value of x by 2 and save it on itself. So we should get 2. Okay. Since we are using int, we are not getting any decimal places in here. So if we change the data type of x to double, we should get a more precise result, 2.5. To shorten this, we simply write x slash equals 2. Build and run. It's going to give us 2.5. That's all for this video. I'll see you on the next one.